Hi, I'm Jennifer Carroll with CelebratingEverydayLife.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these paper medallions that were featured in the summer 2012 edition of my online magazine. They were really fun 4th of July craft and I'm excited to share them with you. The supplies that we'll need are two types of paper, one for the main medallion design and one for the back of the medallion. Then you'll need a paper cutter, a scoring tool, some double stick tape or craft glue, a glue gun, a craft punch, a heavy book, and for embellishments we'll need glitter, some glitter glue, ribbon, buttons, striped straws, scissors, glitter tray, and a paper plate. So let's get started. First, we're going to take our old paper. Now, I'm using an old hymnal. All you do is you take this and you're going to cut it into one and a half inch wide strips, which I've already done here. So then we want to take our strips once you cut them. I use two strips for a medallion, um, so you'll need two per medallion. Just know that when you're um, trying to figure your things. So then you want to um, score your paper. So when we're scoring our medallion strips, I use a scoring pad. This is such a great tool to me. I do a lot of crafting and things like that, so I like to have something like this on hand. Um, but you don't have to have this. You can use, and this is a bone folding tool. You can have any kind of flat, even a ruler like this, you could do this with. Um, it just needs to have a little bit of a point like this ruler has here. Um, so you could use the corner of something like this to achieve a similar result. But since I have a scoring uh, board, we're going to use that. So as you can see, we're just going to line this up and at the quarter inch marks, I'm going to lightly, it's always hard with the first one, <laughs> okay, going to lightly score the paper. Again, I'm just being careful not to push too hard. I don't want to cut the paper. I just want to mark it to make it easier for folding. And we'll go along at every quarter inch mark. And we'll do this on both strips. I won't, I'll edit the second strip just in the interest of time. But you can see here, it's just going back and forth like this. And you know, you might need to practice. It can take a little bit of getting used to finessing the amount of pressure that you need to use. So um, if you are using a special paper, I would recommend doing a test strip first before using your actual craft paper. So then you want to do the entire length. So then we're just going to, now that we're done, we're going to just fold it back and forth like an accordion. So we've got it now just nice and scrunched up like that. And we're going to now, I need to do the other one. Now we have both of our strips. You want to line them up so that you can just cover them like that. So I'm actually going to, because I have a little bit of an extra little fold up. I'm going to trim that off so it's out of my way. And then see on this one I have an extra fold down. I think I'll trim that off too so that that's out of the way. Now I can just join these two together like that. So to do this you can use a craft glue or a permanent tape. I love permanent tape. I am not a girl who loves to use glue if I don't have to. So um, what I am going to do is just take a very thin little strip of permanent tape right here and I'm going to apply it to the edge. And I have made just, I don't know, hundreds of these medallions. I have always used double stick tape like this and I've never had a problem. One other thing I just want to point out that I would recommend is keep your words going in the um, same direction so that when your, band, your medallion is put together, it doesn't look strange. 
Okay, so now we're gonna just gather everybody back up, fold at our joint, and we're good to go that way. So now we've got one long piece. I want to do the exact same thing that I just did. I want to join this end. Now this end already has the up and down in the right way. See how those will just join right there? So we will just, we don't need to trim anything there and we will do our tape. So here's another little piece of tape. See how easy that is with the tape? I mean, uh, it just beats getting the craft brush out and the glue and all that. But for all you crafters out there who love glue, you can totally use that on this project as well. Okay, so we're just gonna join that up, rebend, make sure our fold is nice and good there. Okay, we've joined both ends and now we've got a perfect little circle like this. So now we're gonna take just a piece of notebook paper, it's nothing special, and our craft punch, and I'm just going to slide this in and punch a hole out just like that. because we just need a nice small piece. As you can see, if you look on the back of these, see, we just need a little bit of paper for this next step where we're gonna glue. So, let's, and there is, on this you'll notice, I've got music on this side, and then I've got writing on that side. So there is a front and a back to this particular one. Sometimes they're both the same, but when they're not, you wanna make note of that. Um, because we're gonna put the paper on the back side. So I wanna make sure when I'm about to glue this, and I'm gonna glue this on there, that I'm gluing to the back of my medallion. So we're going to pinch this together and push it out and down, just like that. So I'll do it one more time. See, it's standing up like this, almost like a cupcake wrapper. And we're going to just gather it in and at first it's gonna seem like it won't go, but persevere and <laughs> just pull lightly and there you go. Then you wanna hold it, you can either hold it in the center with your finger and do the glue gun around or you can hold the outsides with your fingers and just, you wanna apply enough pressure, see how it wants to come in and out. You wanna apply enough pressure that you hold it in and then just take your glue gun you're gonna just put a little bit of glue on there and try not to burn yourself <laughs> set your paper on there and you can use a heavy book or even a handy glue piece of a uh, container of glue like that will work just as well and you want to just let that sit so we're just gonna pour the glitter out and set that aside Next, we're going to put a little bit of glue on a plate. And you really don't need a lot of glue. Um, that right there may even be too much, I'm not sure. But we'll see, that's enough to get us started. Okay, so now our medallion is dry, so we can handle it now. Let's see how cute and sweet. And if you wanted that center even tighter, because we're putting a button in there, I didn't make the center super, super tight, but the more pressure that you put on it before you apply the glue, um, and the heavier the object is that's sitting on it without crushing it, will help ensure that you can get your center even tighter if you like. So, now that our medallion is ready, I'm just going to hold it, and I'm going to just gently dip it into the glue. And all I'm doing is I'm holding it lightly enough that it's kind of spinning like a wheel in my hand. And I'm, you know, trying to tap it to make sure the glue is getting in all the different little ripples there. And you can see the glue on there. And then we'll immediately just take and roll it in our glitter. 
I like having a nice deep glitter pile so it really gets coated in there. If it's too thin, it won't grab as far up as I want it to. So, and then we'll just give it a little tap, 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 tap. And look how cute, fabulous, sparkly medallion. So while that's drying, we're just gonna let it sit there, we can start to figure out about our ribbon. So pick any ribbon that you want, and then I just kind of eyeball how much I want it to hang over. That ought to do it. So I will take that amount, and I will take my scissors and just give it a little snip. And next, I'm gonna take the ribbon and I'm gonna fold the edge of it in half like that because I want to cut a little tail. And when you're cutting a tail like this, obviously this is completely optional, but when you're cutting a tail like this, make sure that you start your point with your scissors at the side where you folded it together, not where the fold is. If you cut from the fold, you'll make a point. But this way, if we cut from this side, we have that shape. And we can just check. And I love how that looks there, looks great. Now because I'm adding a button that happens to have a back on it like this, I need to cut a little slit in my ribbon. If you were using a button that had no back, you wouldn't need to do this extra step. But my button forces me to do this because it won't sit well without it. So. I fold my ribbon in half, and all I do is I just take my scissors, and I'm gonna cut a very little slit right there. Now I can take my ribbon, open it, and I can insert the button. So there we go, and then you can spin it all around. And you might hear my daughter crying in the background. <laughs> now I'm ready to apply the glue in the center so here we go I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right there in the center and press to put my button in and remove any little glitter str glue strings out of the way okay and that's the last step again you want to just let that dry for the final step, if you want to do this, some of these that I made, as you saw in the magazine, they were just leaning up against a sign or you know, just cute little accents. Um, but some were in the centerpiece. So to do that, we will take a straw. I just, I loved the, I wanted to continue the red and white theme with this. So I'm using these paper straws. You can use popsicle sticks, anything that you like. For me, this was handy, I had it, so it got the job. <laughs> we'll flip this over and we'll figure out pretty much I think that's going to be a good spot for us. Fortunately my paper here it has a line on it. Um, one thing to look out for though so let's actually turn this over again. I need to note because I want it I want my button centered I'm just like that I like things centered. So I'm going to note that this point here is where this should go. So I just kind of lined it up because I want it to be straight. So I'm going to do just a little line of glue right there, immediately put my straw on there, hold it with my finger for a minute. As you crafters know, the great thing about hot glue is that it does um, set up very quickly. And there we have it. There's our medallion. Get a little glue string off of there. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and that you have learned how to make this fun craft that's a wonderful embellishment for your next party. And I hope you will join me for my next one. Thank you so much. Happy celebrating.